Hits this one hard out to left center. Carrying out deep, could it be? It is gone. And Jacobs with the punishing kill. A two-run shot that ties the game. Hyatt hits it over, and she's going to have a kill. Over to Boyd, inside to Gaddis. Spin move, puts it up, takes the foul, and knocks it down. Juan Connor takes the three, puts it up, knocks it down. Drops back to pass across the middle, looking for Martin. He's got him across the middle to the 30. On first down. Morrow looking across the middle to Martin. He's got him down inside the 20 to the 15. Jonathan Martin, couple of big catches here. Morrow being pressured, throws it back in. So he's got a man. He got it. Touchdown, Crimson Storm. You'll be definitely. Oh, oh what a fumble snap. snap. It's going to go back in the end zone. And he's just going to roll it out of the back of the end zone. That's going to be a safety. Wow, what a play. Six. Morrow back to pass again, screen pass to Hudson. Good blocking by the Crimson Storm. Hudson down the sideline inside the 15 to the 10 yard line. Credit the offensive line on that screen pass. Handoff goes to Ramos. He's got some room inside the five. Touchdown. Daniel Ramos. Twelve yard scamper from Daniel Ramos. SNU heads to recess with a 16-0 advantage over the Oklahoma Baptist Bison. The handoff goes to Olds over here on the left side. He's got some room. He's down the sideline. Terrence Olds very nearly breaks a big one. Nonetheless, he's going to get about 23 yards. Right here for the SNU offense. Fakes the handoff to Olds, looking for Chris Hudson. He's got him across the 45 down the sideline. Chris Hudson coming in through the clutch yet again for this Crimson Storm offense. Morrow on a screen pass to Olds. Olds has some room out here to the 35, bouncing off defenders before he's brought down at about the 27. So a 19-yard pickup on the screen pass from Morrow to Terrence Olds. Morrow back to pass. He's going to step up in the pocket, looking to throw. He's got a man, Eldon Coleman, Jr. Touchdown, Crimson Storm. Morrow's got across the middle. Oh, hook and ladder play. Jonathan Martin down the sideline, out of bounds at the 20. Jacoby Hicks caught that curl pass and flipped it right back to Jonathan Martin. Wow. He's kicking into this wind. A 36-yarder to send this thing into overtime. Anguiano, the kick is up. The kick is good. It's good. Carlos Anguiano. Morrow. Hands off to Terrence Olds. Up the middle, he's got some room. Terrence Olds, touchdown! touchdown! Crimson Storm, Terrence Olds. What a game Terrence Olds is having. He's in lined up in the I formation. They're throwing for the win. Play action, Stigall looking for his man. Incomplete! Incomplete! The it's Crimson over. Storm! It's over! The it's Crimson over. Storm have won! The fans have stormed the field. SNU, its first win of the season. After losing 32 games in a row. But nonetheless, the Crimson Storm down there celebrating the much needed win. What a finish, you, ladies. Once again, led by Terrence Olds, who finished the game 26 carries, 163 yards, and a touchdown. Ramos had 41 rushing yards and a touchdown. James Morrow finished 15 for 33, 230 yards. As you see Connor Bent down there, what a heck of a game he had to finish his SNU career. Great game from Bent. Five tackles as long as Stephen Price, who also had nine tackles. Blake Giles with nine. Isaiah Young with eight. 
What a game we saw up here. So we're going to take a break. We come back. We'll hear from an SNU football player as well as head coach Craig Hubbard on the win. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back here at SNUathletics.com. Welcome back to SNUathletics.com. I'm here with the player of the game, Terrence Olds. Terrence, big night rushing on the ground as well as the first victory of the season. Talk about kind of what this means to this football team. Uh, it means a lot. You know, we needed this win. It was the last game for our seniors, and we wanted to go into the spring with some confidence, and we got the job done tonight. Talk about kind of how the atmosphere changed when uh, Oklahoma Baptist responded in that third quarter to kind of take the, take the lead back. Talk about how kind of the mindset changed on the sideline to kind of keep you guys in check in terms of uh, t uh, making sure you guys got the win. Oh, yeah. We, when they uh, responded back with the touchdown, we just kept each other up, talked to each other, you know, giving the glory all to God, saying we would never quit on each other, and we didn't. So what kind of momentum do you think this kind of plays now heading into next season? You guys got this much-needed win at the last game of the season. Talk about the momentum now carrying into next year. Oh, it's a lot of momentum. It's, it's, it's a very much. Looking forward to see you back next season uh, for another year. Once again, Terrence Olds, great night rushing. We're going to take a break. We come back. We'll hear from head coach Craig Hubbard. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. Welcome back to SNUathletics.com. I'm here with head coach Craig Hubbard. Coach, fantastic win there to end the season. Kind of talk about how that defense um, in the fourth quarter there and in that first part over time kind of really helped this offense kind of get going there to, to eventually get the lead back. Well, thank you very much. Uh, it's that defense, they just kept wanting the ball today. And anytime they had the opportunity to go out on the field, they, they played with confidence today. And that, uh, that in turn helped our offense to play with confidence too. Um, talk about kind of an overtime when after that great kick by Carlos Sanguiano went through. Talk about the kind of the, the mindset and the game plan heading into that overtime game. Well, uh, the mindset on the sidelines was this is it. This is the one we're going to win. Uh, and especially after Terrence broke off that touchdown run, we, uh, we knew that this was the one we were going to win. Uh, talk about now the outlook, kind of heading into next season, talking about the next step maybe now for SNU in terms of maybe, you know, always last year we talked about a lot of close losses last year, and now this year eventually getting the first GAC win. Talk about now where SNU football you feel like goes from here. Well, we, sh we need to use this as a springboard uh, going into next season, w one with recruiting, but the other with just, you know, how our offseason uh, you know, workouts go and the, uh, the tempo of it. You wouldn't believe how, how – uh, how big of a deal it is to go into the offseason on a win, and especially a win where you came from behind and then beat somebody in overtime. Um, talk about that win a little bit. Um, heading into this game, did the game plan coming into this game against Oklahoma Baptist, did it kind of change uh, maybe from some games previously in the season? It did defensively. Uh, it, we, we changed it up a little bit for what they like to do for uh, their, their perimeter running attack. It did. Congrats once again, Coach, on the victory. Uh, once again, SNU taking it, 33-32 in overtime. Tanner Stiles signing off for a great way to end this SNU football season, 33-32. Thank you guys for watching, snuathletics.com.